so we're opening today with a nighttime scene <laughs> with the coyotes howling and the fire going. And it was lovely to sit out there tonight or last night, whenever. <laughs> but we're going to go on through the day now and get some things done. Um, get a little bit more on the wood pile. I made a little bit more on the, um, the path in the bathtub garden. And I put some other little fancy things in there that I got, I got to try to keep the rabbits out of the garden in the spring or in the winter. I don't know. Anyway, um, that might be a little bit too much. I don't know, but what else did I get done? I got the storage unit cleared out. Got to put all that underneath the bus. So it's been kind of busy. Nothing much different like I was hoping for, but we'll keep working on it. Maybe next week. I wanted to go to the local whoop, music, but I just get tired. I'm up at 5.30 in the morning and I'm too tired to do anything else. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember to like and share and comment. Feel like I'm at the Kentucky Derby watching them neck to neck at the finish line <laughs> hoping that my I'll really get a vine ripened tomato off this giant plant <laughs> before things freeze up oh my goodness it's getting close but there are still so many green ones green 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 Another. The pictures I took in my last video were of another tomato plant that I've got. Not this bigger one. But got lots of lots of them that aren't gonna make it, I'm sure. Darn it. I don't know. Like Wendy and Jeremy, they just learned more and more every year for planting out here. And what to do to try to get their product before the short growing season. It's 44 degrees this morning, but we're still trying to get red ones. These guys are almost ready to eat, that little bunch. And there's a little bunch back in here. Let's see, where are they? Come on guys. Oh, there it is. There's, those guys are trying to get red. Um, most of the rest of them are green. Green ones. There's some green ones. Green, green, green. Oh, there's a little batch down here that's turning red. That's 
good. Come on, guys. You can do it. This light up here is still on them all night long. It's a solar light. So that's helping a little bit. And then I got the heat lamp. But I very rarely ever put it on just when I'm out working in the yard for five or ten minutes. So my solar, that's a lot of power on my solar. On the other side of the bus, I have a small tomato plant, but you know, I don't know. It's, it's producing just as many, if not more, tomatoes than my big one is. <laughs> um, this side of the bus is going to get more sun as the sun goes lower. And uh, so I don't have as many lights on it, although I might end up start covering it and hang a light out my window of the bus at night to keep it a little warmer. These, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure these must be more of a yellow um, <coughs> tomato because I don't see any orange or red at all on them. Um, and I'm thinking, there was one of them that was pretty yellow that I tried that was still tasted green. So, but I don't think they're going to turn red. And this stick here, I had collected for firewood. <clears throat> and I decided, I'm going to straighten it up a little bit. And I'm going to plant it right in here I don't think I can get it straightened up right now but I'm going to straighten it up and plant it right about there and then this winter I'll put Christmas tree lights on it and next summer the tomatoes can grow up around and in it there's a whole bunch of tomatoes on this one there are a whole bunch of teeny baby ones and kinds of tomatoes on this one. Actually, this is the one I filmed for my beginning on last week's video. So, that one's coming along. My little batch of sunflowers. I had a whole lot of these last summer. And there, I only did a little batch. I kept seeds from last summer and started these. So I have a little bit of those. And over here, hi Clovis, we're we going to go for a ride this morning. We have to go to the storage unit and get stuff out. Yeah. So over here on the beautiful sunrise, we have my garden, or my bathtub garden curtain up. So I showed a picture <coughs> of it, or I will show a picture of it. Um, with the wind blowing during the day, which makes it not usable. But if I decide on my bath in a stiller part of the day, it gives me some coverage for my bathtub. For anybody that might be on this side, which there's not really anybody out here <laughs> but my kids. But I don't want to gross the kids out with old granny body. So that's my curtain for the, and I can use that because um, I put that pole in. I can use that string also for a clothesline. And then I got another pole over here that I'm working on, trying to get in the ground, and um, so I can bring another string across here and have more curtains or clothesline. So that's my little bathtub area and I am going to do a video at one point from start to finish of my bathtub garden
Slowly but surely getting there. Still working. I'm breaking away from cutting wood long enough to have a skillet meal. Well, I'm cooking it. Um, I'll put the lid on, turn off the heat, cut some more wood, and then light. And you can watch my wood pile grow. Um, a lot of twigs in there, which I'm going to collect a lot of, and I'll I'll layer them and keep putting canvases on top of stuff. There's some really nice logs down in here that are well seasoned, and I'll be getting some more real logs too. And then I've got these tin cans are full of twigs, and those paper bags are full of like cardboard and newspapers, which I have to get tin bag tin cans for. see it where is it you don't like those you like tennis balls you don't really like that ball do you you just brought it I don't think we're gonna play anymore tonight we'll see getting a little more um, let's see okay so this is the last years over here that's about that's almost a cord there, which is like eight feet by four feet by four feet. And then I don't know what the measurements back here are that I've been working on. But I'd say that I still have oh, about four times this much that I need to get. Thunder, so I better quit but it's not like I said way up there maybe up to about here is where I want to get it which I think is going to be like five feet tall so it's got three rows in there that's what I've got so far Much for the stick. <laughs> <laughs> 
Run ka! <laughs> oh. We're gonna bite that nubby off, huh? <laughs> There's a bunch of little nubbies that can't get a hold of it. Like that boy's gonna share. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> You're on a rope. I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> You're going home. Eating at the chili line this morning. I'm going to put my video online because I ran out of data with my phone. So I'll use their Wi Fi. Here's my breakfast burrito, and this is going to be a wrap. So I'm going to try to get my stuff on the um, computer and get it out to you guys. So I hope you enjoy the video today. Um, it's Monday, and started out with it being in the dark and dusk with the coyotes, and we're going to end up with it being daylight. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and share and comment. And I love you guys. See you next week.